Jose about to lap around the whole thing. Why who on my hat, man? Let them know I'm about to act, man. I'm the ish like shit stains. Heard I got them pissed up. I give a fuck if they pissed up. It's double A over everything. Put that on my. Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, the Akron Astronaut, aka John Blem, aka the Saturnite Samurai. Is it Saturnite or is it Saturnian? I don't, I don't know. Saturnite. I'm pretty sure it's Saturnite. People of Saturn would be Saturnites, right? So as you can see, we are in the playoffs. We go up against the Golden State Warriors, who um. What are we? We're the fourth seed, I think it is. Fourth seed in the West. Uh, going up against Golden State. Simulating the first game. We do have home court. First game. Pretty close. They start taking the lead. Had a They had a really good second quarter. Ended up beating us by 11 points. But we're coming back. And as you can see, back and forth at the closing minutes of the game. Closing seconds. And we escape with a one-point win at home. It looked like... That could possibly have been a buzzer beater because there was 17 seconds left and then we took the lead by one point. So might have been a buzzer beater. Schroeder, Schroeder, however you pronounce it, Dennis, my man Dennis, uh, ended up leading the way with 19 points. Simulating the second game, we take a huge lead um, early, beating them by 12 points in the second quarter. And uh, yeah, this one's basically just a runaway win. Um, first game was pretty close at home, and then uh, after we escaped with the with the one point win, uh, I think they gave up a little bit, and we end up blowing them out almost by 30 points in game two. So uh, Dennis Schroeder, 23 points. Terrence Ross, 21 points. Uh, second second leading scorer on the team. Like to see that out of him, especially since he's not one of our greatest players. I think he's coming off the bench as well. So uh, kind of nice to see him giving us some point production because we're going to need it if we want to win the finals our first year as GM of the Phoenix Suns. We're going to end up losing game three. They did take home uh, home court advantage right there. So, uh, of course, you know, it's kind of harder to win on the road. And uh, game four, I think we end up losing this one as well. Outscored them by 10 in the second quarter, but it didn't really matter because they outscored us by 10 in the first Really close third quarter, and then the fourth quarter uh, just couldn't really keep up with them, and they end up winning the game by three points. So it's tied up two-two. I was thinking about um, I was thinking about playing a game in the first the first round of the playoffs, but I was like, if we get first round at simulating, we kind of deserved it. Um, I'll play once we get a little bit deeper into the playoffs. So game three end up. Losing the second quarter, but absolutely blowing them out, limiting them to 13 points in the third quarter. And then we're going to go ahead and win the game, uh, keeping them at bay in the fourth quarter, keeping our lead that we secured in the third from just absolutely dominating them. Win the third game. I mean, win, the, uh, win game five, I think that was. Win game five. Go on to game six. They can force a game seven right here. They do have the home court advantage in this game if we win we go to game seven on our home court and we pretty pretty close game only up six points but then we start slowly but surely uh increasing our lead and end up winning by 10 points so we go on to the conference semifinals versus san antonio spurs and let me tell you this san antonio spurs team i don't think it is possible for them to have drafted this team in the fantasy draft. I think they had to have made trades. They had to have done something because they are absolutely stacked. They have, they have, not only do they have James Harden and they have James Harden, Nicholas Batum, Al Horford, and Goran Dragic in the starting lineup, right? I was like, okay, that's some firepower. That is a decent amount of firepower, but off the bench, they have Marcin Gortat, an amazing backup center for Al Horford. Like, if I get Al Horford in foul trouble, it almost doesn't matter because Marcin Gortat is just as good rebounding and defensively. He might not be able to hit the, the long-range jumpers as good as Al Horford, but it's still a good backup. And then backup point guard, they have Reggie Jackson, 
the starting point guard of the Detroit Pistons. So, so just they have depth, they have firepower. I mean, they have James Harden, obviously they have firepower. And it's just really, really, really tough to beat these guys. I thought we were going to be able to squeak out of here with the win in game two. But they fourth quarter comeback, as you can see, limiting us to six points um, so far in the fourth quarter. Basically just completely dominating us in the last quarter of the game. Every single quarter was close except for the fourth. And they just, we just couldn't keep up. Only scored 13, 15, ended up scoring only 17 points in the fourth quarter compared to their 28. And we still only lost by four. Valanchunas had a double-double. James Harden went off for 42 points, eight rebounds, seven assists, four steals, and a block. Wow. So we're going back home, game three of the Western Conference semifinals. As you can see, their first overall, fourth defensively, first offensively, Goran Dragic, James Harden, Nicholas Batum, Richwan Holmes, Al Horford, and they got a deep bench, so... Let's get into this, man. It's going to be tough. Sports about to tip off the pivotal game three in these conference semifinals alongside Shaq and Kenny, Ernie Johnson. In this game, we'll see the San Antonio Spurs going up against the Phoenix Suns here at their home. Well, for the Suns, they were unable to take game two on the road, but the series continues. They look to get back in the win column again tonight. And an interesting one here tonight. Technically, this is not an elimination game. But, Kenny, for one team, it does seem kind of like a must win, doesn't it? Well, I agree. It's not like it's day one of the NBA season where you've got a whole season to figure this out. you got to get it done right now, and it could be impossible to come back. you got to get this win and recapture momentum. Forget what he's talking about, Ernie. You need to treat this like an elimination game. And there's only one way to come out and play dominant. Bring the light. Bring the fight. Bring it tonight. 100% focus, baby. Oh, man, you should put a beat under that. Yeah. Bring the light, bring the fight, bring it back tonight. Wow. Go ahead, Kenny. Okay. Bring the light. Bring the fight. And if you ain't here, bring it all tonight. 100% focus, y'all. <laughs> DJ Kenny, Kenny, Kenny. Beat that, Kevin Harlan. The Western Conference Semifinals, Game 3. The Spurs come into Game 3 up two games to none. Will their relentless desire thrust them to a third straight victory? The scenery changes to hostile ground as they face off against the Phoenix Suns. Round 2 of the NBA playoffs continue. Coming right up. Big game three of the Western Conference semifinals getting going right now. Thanks for tuning in. 2K Sports presents the NBA. So here it is, game three at home versus the San Antonio Spurs with an absolutely stacked team, the best team in the NBA. And according to 2K, it says um, Giannis is going to have to have a game. He's got Nicholas Batum guarding him, who is a lockdown defender. Did you guys see um, Goran Dragic dunking all over Giannis in the little – pre-game montage thing they had going Manu hit a 360 like wow what in the world since when could Manu get up like that playing good defense early getting the rebound Valanchunas kicking it to Larry Nance Larry Nance going up reverse slam putting us up for he's flying you see him he's flying putting his arms out he knows Josh Hart the G League man kicking it to Valanchunas Valanchunas to Dennis Schroeder Schroeder hitting the three Putting us up five points early on in the game. Now, this team, we can score. We can keep up with them scoring. At least, I think so, so far. And one Giannis. But it's hard to play this team defensively. I thought I was doing an amazing job. And you'll see later on, Luau Deng. Not a good three-point shooter as we get the steal right here. Kicking it to Dennis, who's got... Some uh, pretty good acceleration, getting an easy layup in transition off the steal. But Luau Deng is not a good three-point shooter. He's mostly a defender. And this man went 50% from the three-point line. Alley-oop to, I think that was Zubak. Uh, yeah, alley-oop to Zubak. Rondo, the floor general. He knows what he's doing out there. 
But Luau Dang was just absolutely eating. They're on a fast break. Rondo, quick hands, playing good defense. Then he's going to kick it to Terrence Ross. Terrence Ross for three. Bang. We look, we look deadly. If this is the best team in the NBA, I think we're right behind him when it comes to talent-wise. But this is just absolutely ridiculous. Luau Dang in the corner, contested, misses. He's going to be hitting a lot of those, though. He ended up hitting like five three-pointers. Terrence Ross yamming on somebody. Terrence Ross playing absolutely amazing in these playoffs, stepping his game up, hitting threes, dunking all over people, playing good defense. Um, even though Lu Haldang did have uh, like five three-pointers somehow, he still, Terrence Ross was playing pretty good defense. Manu Ginobili floating in the air, taking the contact, hitting the and one, going to end up knocking his free throw down. And it's going to put us up 10 points. Just look at this man. He's, he's like, what, 39 years old? Taking the contact, floating in the air, still getting the finish. And he's hyped up. Fierce competitor, Manu Ginobili. Loves winning, uh, helping elevate the, the game of these younger players on the team. As well as Rondo. I think Rondo doesn't care as much about winning, though. I mean, every time he has a coach he doesn't like, he kind of just gives up and does his own thing. Terrence Ross taking off. That rhymes for a reason because he's got bounce dunking all over David West. And I forgot they have David West as well. David West, man. Look at Darren Williams, though. Jab steps, gives him too much space, pulling up, gets the shooter's touch, gets the three to fall. We're, we're keeping, him, keeping, him, uh, keeping him at bay here in the first half. We were up about 10 points, almost lost the ball right there. Terrence Ross coming down. They're not playing any defense on Zubak. Zubak. Is it Zubak or Zubach? I don't know. He is foreign. I'm I'm almost positive he's foreign, so his name might have a different pronunciation. Luau Dang right there. Kind of contested, you know, lightly contested. He's hitting it. But uh, we're going to go look because this dude, um, what, it's still the first half, I'm pretty sure. And this dude was uh, three for six. He had hit three threes already. And doesn't have any corner specialist badges, no type of shooting badges. He has putback king, but his three-pointer grade is a D. Three-point grade is a D, no shooting badges. And he has like a 70 open shot three. Contested three was like a 50 or a 60, something absolutely terrible. And he's out here hitting shots. They're making good plays, I guess, kind of kind of throwing some bad passes and getting them to go. And uh, we're, we got a battle, man, got a battle. Valanchun is getting the block right here, chasing the ball down. Getting it. We're going to kick the ball up to Giannis. I think, oh, actually, we're just going to pull up from the mid-range with Dennis. I'm so used to just kicking it to, G to Giannis on a fast break that I thought that that's what we were going to do. But Dennis was pulling up for a mid-range. Valanciunas getting the rebound and uh, getting the putback to go. So pretty good. Pretty good. One second left in the second quarter. Giannis hitting him with a spin move in the post. Slamming it down. There's .2 seconds left. And there's no way that they're going to get a shot off. So we're going to end the first half with the three-point lead. Thanks, Kevin. Jason Kidd Jason with an interview. First half. How do you assess the game so far? We're going to need everybody. And the one thing we got to do is we can't settle. We got to keep attacking and get the ball in the paint. Use that link to your advantage. Thanks, Jason. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be better. So I like Jason Kidd as a player and as a coach. So we're going to heed his advice, taking it to the rack. Dumping it off to Valanciunas, who's getting a posterizer all over Al Horford. Al Horford's a little bit too old. Don't think he can keep up with Valanciunas. Should have um, realized that earlier because I could have took advantage of that mismatch. I think Valanciunas is way more athletic. Terrible, terrible, terrible pass right here. And Hall of Fame 2K is just letting him get away with it. Absolutely terrible pass by James Harden. Valanciunas should have easily, easily got the steal. And then right here... The Hall of Fame just starts getting to me, man. James Harden contested three, getting it to fall. They're driving. Batum gets blocked by Larry Nance Jr. Giannis gets the ball, and you know he's going all the way, slamming it on whoever. Doesn't even matter. I don't even need to know who the defender was because it doesn't matter. If Giannis gets the ball on a fast break and has a head full of steam, it's over. Larry Nance getting the and one dunk on Al Horford. I think he ended up missing the free throw. Could have tied the game up, but ended up missing the free throw. We were struggling from the free throw line a little bit in this game. Great pass by Rondo, the floor general. 
uh, making our second second unit look good. Darren Williams hits a nice spin move, gets uh, David West to jump on the pump fake, dumping it to Kyle O'Quinn for an easy dunk. And we're looking good. Like, this is a really close game. It was back and forth. Darren Williams hitting Zubak underneath, who's going to go up, get an and one on Marcin Gortat. Game was back and forth. First first half, we were up 10 at some points in the game, and I was like, man, we we got a really good chance of winning this. But then in the second half, San Antonio just turned it up, not only offensively, but defensively. And it was literally back and forth the entire game. James Harden was hitting absolutely crazy shots. He had three people around him right there. Somehow, still getting the shot to fall. And we're only, uh, we're down one actually, not even up in the game. Rondo having a tough time getting anything done offensively. He's mostly just there to dish some dimes. Hitting it Zubak. Zubak hits Ginobili in the corner. The lefty got got such a pure shot. His shot just looks so good. In the corner, he shouldn't miss. I'm pretty sure he's got that corner specialist badge. Darren Williams jump shot. Also nice. Pulling up on the moving mid-range. Getting it to fall. Then we got Schroeder doing an absolutely crazy, crazy layup. Uh, shushing, shushing the Spurs. And then we got Giannis missing. Kicking it to Josh Hart, the G League god. Picked him up from the G League. Look at him. Look at what he's doing in the playoffs. Dude is absolutely balling. Playing way better than I thought he would. Gianna's getting a layup to go right here. He's from the G League, only like 72 overall, but his, his three-pointer is like a B or a B-. minus. His perimeter defense is a B or a B- minus or something like that. He's just good all around. Don't know what his potential is. But uh, we might have to look at that because he's he's looking pretty good, like a good prospect picked up from the G League. Playing good defense right here. Valanchunas with the rebound, kicking it to none other than Josh Hart, the G League god. Hitting the mid-range, putting us up six. Four minutes left in the fourth quarter. Now it's down to three minutes. Got to play defense on Batum. Batum, terrible, terrible pass. And we're going with Giannis, going all the way, getting fouled. And we're going to end up hitting both these free throws, I am pretty sure to put us up six points, right? Is that the right math? Giannis doing pretty good, 17 points, eight for 13 field goal. That's a great field goal percentage, knocking down more than half of his shots. He also has four rebounds, hitting the first free throw, hitting the second free throw, good release, 77% chance. We're up six points, and this is huge right here. Larry Nance getting a hand on it. Josh Hart uh, coming down the court, throwing a oop to him, and he's getting up. Big fella getting up. Larry Nance has some serious bounce. Like, look at him. Head almost touching the rim. Don't get a concussion. And then coming down up six, Larry Nance hustling again, getting a hand on the inbounds pass, and James Harden is getting a loose ball foul, trying to shove Larry Nance out the way so he can get the ball and get that offensive possession. So that is absolutely huge. Now we have... A free offensive possession after that, and we can waste some clock. Rondo going to the rack, finding Valanchunas wide open in the mid range is his game. Valanchunas has a deadly mid range jump shot. You got to respect that a little bit more. Getting it to fall, putting us up eight points. And thought I was going to get another steal with Larry Nance on the inbound, but instead we're just getting a normal steal. A normal steal. He's dribbling into Larry Nance's leg, and Rondo's going up and getting a dunk. That's how you know we were meant to win this game. Just totally meant to win this game. Ten seconds left. We're up eight. Basically game over. I'm throwing up some junk with Darren Williams. And they're going to come down, try and shoot a shot to, to I don't know, just a, just a, just a bullcrap shot. And we're going to end up winning it. Didn't even matter if they made it. Confetti's falling. And we're celebrating on the court. Our first, uh. We're, we're probably celebrating that we didn't go down 3-0 because if we went down 3-0, I feel like we might have got swept. Too much momentum for the San Antonio Spurs. They're just honestly a really, really good team with Greg Pop. I mean, you got Greg Popovich coaching your team, and you got all those players. I don't know if we would have been able to come back from down 3-0. So we're going to go back home for game four. Hopefully, we can tie this series up. You guys will see next episode. But here is the box score. Giannis, 21-5-1. Larry Nance had 12. Dennis doing pretty good. We limited James Harden to 27 points. Last game, you've seen that he had 42. So, pretty good job 
from us defensively. Al Horford, the second most points. Then Goran. Then Nicholas Batum. Then Reggie Jackson. Look at their lineup. They even got Withy, David West, Boris Diaw. Like, they got, they're pretty stacked. They're pretty stacked. But I hope you guys enjoyed, man. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos out of me, more of this series, more Playgrounds, 2K18, FIFA, whatever. And uh, make sure to like the video. Helps me out a lot. Love you guys. Catch you later. Stay fly. Peace. To manage, actor now you're acting crazy. Chop you down when you're standing. This the land of the fiends and the home of the king. Take a look at LeBron. You can tell when I sweet. Went from only smoking weed to Brody tweaking up.